Hey guys, welcome back. So today I thought we'd uh, take a little tour of my C34KM. Um, it's been off the road for quite a while because of one of the main tr problems that these little rigs have. And that's the plastic axle trusses. So it's now been replaced with the official WPL aluminium one, which is very nice. Uh, they've also tapped the the mounting points as well, which makes them very easy to install. So thumbs up, WPL on that one. Um, so just yeah, wanted to give you a quick tour of my uh, my rig and show you all the little things I've done to it to go to where it is. Um, the main thing you can see, I've obviously removed the doors, the rear cab, and the roof, and that uh, that helps with uh, the centre of gravity. Um, I've removed the front bumper, which gives it a, a lot a lot more of an approach angle. You're not getting hooked up as much. Um, I've got a Hobbywing 1060 in there with uh, the receiver. And the battery then, I've got Velcroed into the seat because I haven't got nowhere else to put it at the moment. A lot, there's a couple of other little things I've done to it to make it perform a little bit better. I've replaced the standard shocks with uh, shocks from a C24 as they are slightly, slightly softer. Move this camera down slightly. And it gives the rig a lot more flex. As you can see. Um, another thing I've done is I've created a shout out to Ramsey for the inspiration. I've created some custom adjustable rear shocks. So if I'm climbing a hill and the back end's sinking, I can screw these in here and it'll make the shocks stiffer, giving me obviously the, the ride that I need to get over any obstacle. And it was very simple. You just take take the shock cap, um, you screw screw or drill a hole in it, and then, for instance, this is the spring inside. I got a small flathead screw put inside the spring, and then obviously you screwed this over the top. And there's your your custom adjustable rear shocks. It's also got bigger custom wheels and for those to fit I got in touch with a guy called Carl who is a 3D printer and he made me some custom wheel hubs which I'll try and get some now. So yep thanks to Carl I got some custom wheel hubs which are perfectly designed, very rugged indeed very nice finish and these were made to my specific uh, specification because I wanted the wheels to be as close in as possible and I wanted the adapter to utilize all of the output hex as the original ones actually only used about three mil of the, uh, the hex so I wasn't happy actually using those so yeah, I'm happy overall with this rig. The performance of it is second to none. You've got the the C34KM single speed, which is a 370, and there is next to no hookup, flat belly, and it gives a really slow, controlled crawl almost it is it's, it's very good it's probably the best the best motor i've had so far so yeah i'm looking forward to getting this thing back up on the trail happy crawling guys i'll catch you on the next one